Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean and protect your tyres in just a few easy steps. I'm also going to be showing you every single thing that you need to get the job done and we're going to be covering some of the do's and some of the don'ts. So I'm not really going to be focusing on the actual alloy itself today, we're just going to be looking at the tyres. But as I've got a wheel and tyre cleaner here, I'm going to be spraying a little bit on the alloys just to give it a nice clean up. So believe it or not, it doesn't actually take a lot of products to get these tyres looking new. As part of the cleaning process, we ideally need to use one of these brushes. I use two because I like to get to the backs of the tyres and that's where this Vican brush comes in handy. For this one, however, this is a tyre brush, medium stiffness, doesn't give you any kickback when you're scrubbing it. It's a combination of using the tyre cleaner and one of these, which is what's gonna get you the right results. And alternatively, if you don't have access to one of these brushes, there is a cheap and cheerful hack where you can use a fingernail brush. That's gonna be good enough to get into all the pores and give it a deeper clean. For step one, we're going to start off by spraying the wheel and tyre cleaner. And the beauty about these types of chemicals is you can see an instant color change in the gel as it reacts with the contaminants on the rubber and it starts to pull out all the dirt from the pores. So basically we've let it dwell for about three minutes because we've got cool temperatures today. It is doing us quite a favor. So we can now start off by scrubbing it. And I will say this for the record, if you wanted to jet wash your tires first because they were pretty muddy, by all means you can go ahead. So we're going to work the product into the grooves and with most tire cleaners, it will take about two attempts to get a perfectly decontaminated surface. And the Vican brush has extra long bristles which help increase the foaming of the wheel gel and therefore it does a brilliant job of pulling out the dirt from the deeper treads in the tires. Step three, it's time to rinse off now. And after the first attempt, the water and the cleaner coming off the tire will be slightly brown. And the best way to tell if the tire cleaner has worked properly is if you notice the color of the water and the chemical turning clear. So you gotta spray, scrub, rinse and repeat. Step four, once you're satisfied with the results, you really need to get that tire as dry as possible to give the dressing the best chance of bonding. If you don't have access to a car dryer, you can make do with a slightly damp microfiber towel because what you're gonna do is you'll run over that with the towel and it's gonna pick up any last remaining bits of dirt that you might have potentially missed. And believe it or not, it does happen to everybody. Tire dressings should never be reapplied on top of previous dressings. Now, when I say that, you can go over it with a second coat when you're doing it from scratch, but what I mean is don't go reapplying over a dirty tire that has a previous dressing on. Because if you go ahead and do that, that's when tire sling occurs. And it also happens when you've applied too much product or you haven't properly prepped the tires. So if you want your tire dressing to bond on properly, it has to be on a perfectly prepped set of rubber. So we now take our applicator pad put three to four blobs of your tire dressing of choice and basically you've got to prime the pad. It's a bit like when you put a roller on a wall when you're doing decorating, when you're painting. You wanna make sure that there's enough paint that's actually in the roller when you put it on the wall or it goes patchy. And it's the same story with this. So the thing I love about tire conditioners over your traditional dressings is the way that you can layer it up, say 10 minutes after you've done the first sort of coat, because what it does is it penetrates into the pores, into the rubber, and it gives you a nicer finish and you don't get any of that nasty sling which you might get with gel-based formulas. So I absolutely love it. And I do recommend you try this one out. That is amazing.